Hey guys, we are gonna be jumping back into Humgrave Meadows. I hope you guys are excited for this episode. Um, I am very excited for this episode. We're gonna do some time lapses, we're gonna build some things, and we're gonna clean up the zoo and hopefully continue to make a profit. Um, so I think this is where we left off last time. Oh, the meerkats are joining packs. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I noticed I was kind of scrolling around a little bit and paused after last episode. And I noticed that the meerkats dig holes. Oh my goodness. Did you guys know that? Let me know because that is so cute. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna add in some rocks, some foliage, some climbing spaces for them, and it's gonna be a great time. Um, we also might actually do some lighting because it's a bit dark. Only the moon, only the moon is lighting the way. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, oh, well, maybe, do we take care of some of this stuff first? Well, maybe not, because there's not really much stuff to get done. By the way, our zoo challenges are adopt an exhibit species, drink profits of 500 for a year. Right now we're at 201. Release to the wild one habitat species. So that's kind of what we got going on there. Um, let's go ahead and let's go say hello to our zebras. No one is viewing the zebras from over here, but I'm sure once we get more animals, like back here, we will get some more um, people viewing over here. How much does this one make? 600, and then the meerkat ones are killing it. Are anyone? Oh wow, people are donating over at these, or that one. What? People, someone was down here? What? Okay, that's weird. It's a bit weird. Oh, and also, I think I'm going to reserve this spot right here for a train to get around the zoo. And yeah, I think, well, you know what? Let's go ahead. We're going to jump into a time lapse, but we are going to change um, this here. Should actually open the zoo at like a decent time, you know? And then also close it at a decent time. And then it will also help it get light, lighter faster. 20 minus, okay, that's 8 p.m. So that's open 12 hours. I think that is good, right? And then, you know what? We might actually not have that much dark. Um, but that's okay. That is okay. How is our guest? happiness can we see like our guest the do zoo ticket price is fair okay the zoo is pretty small yes it is uh the zoo is great oh perfect ticket price is good well that's good toilet block block is free yes it is um some people are thinking it is hot thirsty and that litter is disgusting and yes i would agree about all of that um, oh, we also need to get some edumacation in because we don't have anything edumacating our guests. Also, yes, I know I did pronounce that wrong. You don't need to roast me in the comments. Um, so yeah, we might actually get some more education down as well. I really like um, the imperfectiveness, imperfectionness of the zoo. I think it's really actually nice and it is like just allowing me to be more free-flowing like before I would have made this a perfect diamond but not today because this isn't that zoo this is a more open zoo oh my gosh they're like lining up to go and see in here and I don't even think the zebras are in here they're all outside well, I guess there are people, like, standing there. I wonder if we should make this one, this little segment. Well, I suppose it wouldn't make sense to make it... I was going to say, let's make it opaque. Oh, it needs um, to be repaired. Um, but yeah, 
Also, I don't really like having the actual fence here. So if you have any idea at all of what would be like a good building piece to use instead of that, please do let me know. I would uh, greatly appreciate that. Um, but I think we have enough money now to go ahead and jump. Oh, sorry. Um, hiccup there. I think we have enough money. Let's go ahead and jump into time lapse. Let's first start with the meerkat. Am I pronouncing that right? I think so. Let's first jump into the meerkat habitat. Um, actually, before I just remembered, we have to check for another female meerkat. So let's see, do we have a female meerkat? I'm so not used to hitting that confirm button. Oh, yes, we do. Thank you. And we'll get you too. Wait. Did it, did it work? Uh-oh. Um, okay. There we go. Yes, it worked. Yes! Okay. Awesome. Okay, let's see what's on page two. Oh, wow. There are a ton of females now. Look at that. Let's get another one. Okay. Let's go ahead and get all of those guys in. Um, can we select all? Oh, we can't move them. Um, I bet because we already, like, selected one of them to move. Send to zoo! Move! Perfect! Alright! Alright, now it is time-lapse time. I have been procrastinating long enough. Let's... Oh, those holes everywhere just make this look, like, kind of blah. I guess? I don't know. But it's kind of cool. Because it's, like, new. Okay, it's time-lapse time. All right, everyone. So this is a pretty short time lapse, and I do apologize for that. But I do think we end up making the space look really nice. Um, I do add a ton of rocks and some foliage just to fill in some gaps. Um, and I'm actually really happy with how it turns out. Um, you will see in a second here, we also will create some jungle gems and um, we do fix it in a little bit in the live time. So don't worry. Um, all of the platforms are being able to be used and I'm, I'm really excited to see kind of what we're going to um, end up with for viewpoints and um, other areas on here. Um, and yeah, I also do want to apologize for the lack of videos, um, uh, personal things happened and I just kind of, uh, got a little burned out and also, um, I did get a new job and so that is taking up quite a bit of time and, um, uh, more time than I expected, honestly. And I thought I would have just a little bit more time, but we will be, or I will be, um, starting to work from home here shortly. And after that happens, then I am um, expecting to have a lot more time um, to record and edit videos and other stuff like that. Um, sorry about that pause there. Um, honestly, I have no idea what I was working on. Uh, but yeah, this part that we're building here... I was hoping that they would be able to jump up on it like a little ladder, um, but unfortunately they cannot. Um, I honestly don't remember how I fixed this because I'm not going to lie, I recorded this like a month ago, like right after the last episode went out when I recorded this. So yeah, I do apologize for that. Um, I definitely did not expect it to take this long for me to finish editing this video, but like I just said, things happened and yeah. Um, uh, so actually here is where we are going and editing everything. Um, but yeah, I think it turns out really cool and awesome. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Um, if you want me to add just this little spot to, uh, Steam, I can, and it is good for the uh, meerkats to use. Um, and I just wanted to add another little area right over here. And they're also able to use this area. Um, it's not as supported as well as I would have liked it to be. Um, but 
I mean, hey, that happens. And it is what it is. But yeah, I'm really happy with the little areas that we put in here. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are as well. That is about it for the time lapse. Um, let, I'm just trying to think, what else do I do in this time lapse? It's been so long. Um, I did edit that because it wasn't quite working. Oh yeah, now we're going to go through and add the foliage, I believe. And the bedding. Bedding is good. Um, and yeah, so I noticed I mentioned in part one how we're going to have buildings for each um, individual animal. But I'm kind of imagining that this is like their summer habitat. And if the weather is either bad or um, too cold for them, that they're going to go in a backstage area and this habitat would just be left empty. Um, I do see a lot of zoos do that, especially um, in Minnesota where I'm from, because the weather in the winter is just too cold for most animals. I mean, every animal. I don't know how most of them, like, stay outside, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, like, how I env envision this um, whole area. And, uh, yeah. All right, everyone. So uh, this is kind of what we did for the time lapse. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause and hope that the animals are still doing well and happy with this. Um, I I think I really like this. Oh, that was so cute. They like jumped up here and then fell down. Um, there might be a glitch. They're not being able to get up there. They should be able to, though. Oh, but they're playing with the bubbles. How cute. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is there anyone over here? No, I don't think so. Um, but if we look at the heat map, we can see that they can actually get up top here. Um, I'm kind of sad that they can't get over here, so I want to edit that so that they can. A little bit. And click on you. Um, still can't get up. I don't know why. Weird. Okay. Well, sometimes the game is weird. Um, but then also, they can kind of get over on this rock. They can get on this climbing frame, and they can get on that climbing frame. So I think that's kind of fun. Um, we do have to put some toys or something up here so that they will actually come up here. Um, uh, but let's see if we have any toys. Not really just the bamboo feeder, but it can't be a feeder up there. Uh, because if it is, then the, um, the keepers can't get up there to fill it. Um, but let's go ahead and let's try this. Um, so the realistic of it would be that inside of these logs there are pipes that connect down. Um, is, why does it say there's no power? Are we in power? <gasps> drink profits! Oh my gosh, wow, that was a lot of money we made from drinks. Okay, let's also, um, while we're here, let's just get some signage um oh my gosh that is so expensive oh my gosh 152,000 ah that that's a that's a big one okay where is here that's where I'm looking for and also let me know if the um the animal tox is fixed. Last time I played, it definitely was not fixed. Um, so it, that would be great to know. Um, so yeah, please do let me know. If they are fixed, we will probably add them in the zoo. Um, so yeah, that would be great to know. And let's just get this last one there. Well, no power. That's a bit unfortunate. We will have to fix that at a later date. 
Oh, none of them have power. Interesting. All right. Um, but then let's also come over here. Actually, in here, let's just get the board. Let's go ahead, align to surface. Let's just make it part of the group here. And then we can also put one up high. No power here either? Okay, we're gonna have to take a look at that in a second. You know what? I'm also gonna put one here. I feel like these should have power. Okay, and then we're also going to put... Do we put them right on the fence? Is that weird? Maybe not. Just go ahead, put them right there. Oh, these ones do have power, so that is good. We actually have some source of edumacation in the zoo. Um, but I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Let's let's um, say goodbye while watching the meerkats jump around. Maybe where are they all? Well, they're all sleeping. Are they eating at all? No. Okay. Well, yeah, we're gonna end the episode. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, sorry we didn't get an another animal in today, um, but we definitely will next time. Let me know which animal you are wanting in um, so that we can get that animal in. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend, day, I don't know. Just have a good one. And we will, whoa, we will see you guys next time. Bye.